So my wife and I were just talking on the phone and she was looking into this Peter Gaynor guy, which I did a little bit earlier when the announcement first broke that uh, Chad Wolf is resigned from his position as the director of Homeland Security, the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, and just the wheels started started turning in my head as we were discussing, and I get on a, a lot of times, I'll get on a stream of consciousness and it'll just, it'll just kind of just right into the head, so, let me try to remember because I still don't have I still don't have a good way to like I need to figure out how to do videos for you guys where I can show you what um show you what I like where I can see it and you guys can see what I'm talking about. That would be great. It would really help me out. Anyway, this uh this guy um he's a marine. Okay, and uh he was the acting Trump made him the acting uh, administrator for FEMA back in 2019. And then he became permanent in 2020 um, as the administrator. And uh, so think about it, guys. We have a Marine who is the head of FEMA the last two years, right? The last two the last two years under Trump. What has happened in the last two years? Um, as far as emergencies go. Like real natural disasters and not real natural disasters. Wildfires, hurricanes. I'd say the man's done a pretty good job. Now I know that that's a very large organization but FEMA, it ain't, you know, 44 is FEMA, clearly. So that tells you what he's qualified to deal with. He's, he's, he knows how to handle emergency situations. And he's taking over for Chad Wolf on the 13th, Wednesday. Move the decimal. 11-3, move the decimal. So he's, he's coming active on the same day. Tomorrow, one twelve. POTUS is supposedly rumored to speak at the Alamo. He was supposed to talk today and he didn't, you know, who knows? Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But the fact that the Alamo was brought up to me is very significant too. So uh, what, th what that all means, we'll find out. I know, you know, he might talk about the border wall. I'm sure he will. But I'm sure he'll, uh, if, if, if and when we do hear from POTUS, I'd be surprised if we hear from him before. But who knows, maybe he will do it tomorrow. It could just be more more bait. Sometimes the bait isn't for isn't for us guys. Sometimes we fall for the bait. Um and and you know, just like the rest of just like the rest of everybody else will fall, you know, for the bait and and get excited about something, but you know, by us falling for the bait, we got the job done by giving misinformation. It's a military op. We all have roles to play. So anybody that says they know what's going on 100% is lying to you. Even people that are a lot more connected than you or I are. Like, they don't know 100%. So just be careful um, with the info coming out, um, as always. But I just thought that was very interesting uh, real quick with that guy, with uh, Mr. Gaynor um, taking over Director of Homeland Security, Department of Homeland Security. So it's certainly not a bad thing. 
I'd say it's a good appointment and uh, tells you what's to come. See y'all later.